This video will cover the topic, writing an equation in slope-intercept form given the slope and a point. Before we start solving problems of this type, let's review what slope-intercept form is. This is an example of what an equation in slope-intercept form would look like. The variable m in front of x is the slope of the line, and the variable b in the equation is the y-intercept. To write an equation in slope-intercept form given the slope and a point, we must substitute the value for the slope into the slope-intercept form equation. We must also substitute the x and y values of the point given into the equation and solve for the numerical value for the y-intercept. Once we have solved for the y-intercept, we can write the slope-intercept form equation. Can we try out a problem of this type? Definitely. In this problem, we are asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passes through the point 8, negative 4 and has a slope of negative 3 over 4. What do we do first? First, we must substitute the value we have been given for the slope into the slope-intercept form equation. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. As you can see, we still don't have the value for b, or the y-intercept, but we do have a coordinate point of the line. So to solve for b, we must substitute the x and y values for this coordinate into our equation with the slope value we were given. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Solving this equation out for b, we find that the y-intercept for our line will be 2. Now that we have our value for b, we can use that value and the value for the slope and substitute them both into the slope-intercept form equation to successfully solve this problem. Oh, okay, I think I understand this now. But just to be sure, let me go over what I have learned. To write an equation in slope-intercept form, given the slope and a point, we must first substitute the value of the slope given into the slope-intercept form equation. We then must substitute the x and y values of the coordinate point given into the slope-intercept form equation and solve for the y-intercept. Finally, we will insert the values for the slope and the y-intercept into the slope-intercept form equation to get our final answer. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher. <laughs>